Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I have the pleasure to be joined by promoter Ben Shalom. Ben, it's fight week, stack card on Saturday night. Really looking forward to it. A lot of guys that we've worked with for a long time, particularly the main event, wish both of them could win. The reality is someone has to lose. They both put everything in. Chris changed his life 12 months ago in his stadium. Richard gets that opportunity. It's going to be a grueling fight. It's going to be a war of attrition. They both improved so much. I, yeah, as I say, I wish both guys could win, but um, yeah, very, very excited for the fight. Definitely. You mentioned on the stage, obviously, Dan Aziz makes his return, first fight since lost to Joshua Boazzi, but you mentioned a win could unlock a fight with Lyndon Arthur as well. I mean, how excited for you that one, and when could we potentially see that, obviously, both winning with Lyndon next week as well? I think we can see that next. Um, both of them come through. That was a fight that we wanted for this card. Didn't quite happen. I believe it happens next. I think it's uh, that light heavyweight division. A lot of big names, a lot of great names. Dan Aziz, for me, wasn't quite at that... Hadn't, hadn't had that world-level experience when he got in there with Boatsy. And for him, he'll feel like one or two more and he could have beaten Josh in his mind. And so he's now had that experience. I think it's going to be a danger in that light heavyweight division. And I think Lynn and Arthur's a fight to make. Definitely. As I well, was talking to Joshua Boatsy, obviously the yard discussions I just meant, you just mentioned there are ongoing. He got ordered to fight Willie Hutchinson as well. Two very, very good options for Joshua Boatsy moving forward. He's in a great position and he deserves to be. Um, it's been frustrating. We'd have loved the fight on this card. Yarbawatsi, we really did try. Obviously, the problem's out of our control. So it's been frustrating, but I think we're going to see some good news in the next week or so. But obviously, he's in a great position with great options. Definitely, we look forward to that as well. Last couple from me as well. A little update, uh, Caroline Dubois. Is the next, I saw an interview, Shane, saying targeted for this card. Didn't happen, obviously, but the next fight, positioning her perfectly for a world title shot. Yeah, she was meant to be on this card, had a little illness, unfortunately, and so it would have been great to see her out. But I think we'll see on that Barnsley card for Callum Simpson's homecoming against that Shelley, the champion. So, yeah, fantastic talent. Been a bit frustrating um, not to get her on this card, but she'll be out in August and, th and then we're on to world titles. Definitely look forward to that final one from me. I spoke to Adam Morley the other day. He's saying that uh, they want to target that Chris Congo rematch, obviously. Is, could we, is that expected to see that next? I think that's the fight to make, yeah. I think we will see it next. Florian did have a fractured hand last time, and so it was difficult for him. Chris Congo, fantastic fighter, and he got his big moment, which he deserves, and he works incredibly hard for, and he's a great fighter. They don't like each other. Florian's convinced, you know, he wasn't right in that fight. He's desperate for the rematch. I think Chris is absolutely happy to do the rematch both supremely confident and yeah I think that'll be the fight next for both of them definitely look forward to seeing those Albanians back as well Ben Shalom thank you very much best of luck Saturday. cheers mate